Okay, now we go to the address bus. Okay, it is not same with the data bus because the address bus is unidirectional, mean it only has one direction from microprocessor to the peripheral or memory. Why? Because only the microprocessor sends out an address. Analogy is an uh, example, uh, you want to go to your uh, friend's room, so you have to know where is your friend's room. Uh, that's why the microprocessor use the same uh, concept, only microprocessor sends out an address. And uh, it is uh, different with the data bus because the address bus is just carry an address. But the data bus is carry the data. The data contains either information or instructions. Okay, and then we denote uh, address bus as A0 to AM and where AM is MSB bit. And the address bus will determine the number of memory registers or in other words, we use a number of that the microcomputer system comprise of a microprocessor, address bus, data bus and the memory. So how do you illustrate illustrate the memory? Okay. Memory is looks like a mathematical book which has a row and column and how do we get the value row and column from the address bus and the data bus? So the data bus and the address bus is based on the microprocessor category or microprocessor uh, characteristic. Okay. okay, so let's say we have uh, Z80 or 8085 which has a 16 bit address bus and 8 bit data bus. Okay, so let's say our micro P is Z80 or a085. So this uni unidirectional line is belong to the address bus. We have 16 bit and the data bus uh, is bidirectional 8 bit. So how it is a relationship between this uh, bus system with the memory? Okay, so the memory here is represent the data bus. So we have 8 bit. 8 bit. So we try to draw the column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we have 8 columns that represents the data bus. And how about the 16 address bus? So the 16-bit address bus represent the number of words or the memory locations of the memory. Okay, it is not 16 memory location, but we have to use formula 2 to the power of address bus, 2 to the power of 16. So we have 2 to the power of 16 row. Okay, so let's say... Uh, we have the address here is 0 and then the next one is 1, 2 and so on and the last one must be 2 to the power of 16 minus 1. We have to minus 1 this address because the first address is 0. 